I went snowboarding this past weekend for the first time in three years. Apparently one of the casualties is my neck is now very sore and it hurts to talk today. So if you see me wincing for no apparent reason, that's why. Welcome back to the sub, and now over 89,292 weight re-rackers. This week's video brought to you by our sponsor, my sore neck, and also U2's. It's coming out tomorrow, February 4th, 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. in the UK, 9 p.m. Central European time. But if you go to the link in the description, there's actually a giveaway that's still ongoing right now until it's live tomorrow. And then we'll pick some winners who will get one of these. Anyway, it's really cool. I know the exposure is kind of wonky right now, but hopefully you get a good idea of what it looks like and stuff. So go check it out, link in the description, and keep tomorrow in mind, and it'll be available. And that's very exciting. Link in the description once again on the YouTube's website. And let's start off with number 19, RIP Reacts channel. Pretty sure it's the reason I came here. No, no, stay with me, don't leave me. I feel like people don't express their appreciation as much until it's gone, that said, there, there's not like, it's not like it's a, a completely no chance whatsoever that videos could return in the future, but I just, it felt better to clear my schedule. And I will say, especially like this past weekend when I was snowboarding, not worrying about when am I gonna get the Reacts channel videos done? Are they gonna be done on time? It was nice to not have that concern lingering and being able to be more in the moment and being able to snowboard and enjoy myself despite having awful feet. My feet suck. And when they're in snowboard boots, they immediately just start hurting as soon as I do my first run. Like I need to go to a podiatrist or something and get orthotics molded to my feet. It's really bad. Ah, oh, it sucks so much. Cause I'm just like, I'm enjoying everything except my feet are in excruciating pain. But that said, anyway, could there be React videos in the future? Maybe the channel still exists, it will still exist, but we'll see. It's just, you know, wanna focus on the gaming and, you know, be have a little bit more uh, time to think and do other stuff I wanna do, you know? Captain Omega Lull, credit to Jardoon's editor for making the face from Aseptic Minecraft. You know, I was actually thinking of making this or another one of the uh, the stills from that little sequence in there, the thumbnail for the video. I wonder if I should have done this. Should it have been? Should it have been the part where the mouth is opening up and unveiling the part that actually turned out to be the thumbnail? I don't know. Either way, I just want to give another shout out to Alex because that was just, like I said on Twitter, I didn't deserve that edit. Oh my God, what an edit that little sequence was. That was just insane. Yeah, I mean, could maybe. Dude, I haven't done a new emote in absolutely ages. You know, it's hard to hard to prioritize things sometimes, but what a great emote that would be. Beans, the end. To the sub and now over 89,260 weight re-rackers. This week's video brought to you by our sponsor. You didn't edit me to say bean enjoyers B2's though. Mini oh my God, it's sponsor within a sponsor? On February 4th. It's so awesome. It's like, it's so good looking, dude. I mean, not, I, I mean, it's just I'm gonna let it squared. How many? I'm um, gonna let it play out. I spent 30 minutes YouTube's of in the my description. life on this stupid clip. Help. You just. Oh no, it's bean, it's beanception. Like You're putting the beans every, every in the beans. In the last few oh, this, weeks this I've going. Like, talked about beans. That's like, thank you for adjusting. Beans. Be no, I don't want to get copy striked by Curb Your Enthusiasm. Stop, stop, don't. I'm talking over, I'm talking loudly so that it will not recognize because I probably copy strike for Curb Your Enthusiasm music. The beans. I just say beans really loudly and they won't recognize the audio waveform. Beans, lots of beans, okay. Did someone charcoal face practice using, or did, did someone? Did some charcoal face practice using the captain? That's pretty, it's pretty cool. It's pretty slick. Oh, shoot, I don't have a hat next to me right now. I put away the hat from the last quality content drop. It's in the closet now. I shouldn't have done that. I should always have a hat handy that I can use for quality content promotional purposes and stuff like that. I'm so excited for the next drop. It's going to be so cool, dude. Planning the photo shoot. Got to figure out a date for it. But yeah, I look forward to sharing some stuff because this is going to be pretty cool. I think might be my favorite one yet. We'll just have to wait and see what you think. I am disappointed to say it's not gonna have the glow in the dark ink though. I asked if we could do it, but supply chain, blah, blah, blah. It sucks and things are hard to do, so it's not gonna be able to get done. Uh, we'll get them next time. Never forget, 
Me, I want the Jardon U2s. Mom, we have Jardon U2s at home. Jardon U2s at home. <laughs> you mean Jardon U2s at thrift shop for 10 cents? Is that what you mean? I think that's what you mean. The question is, will there be posts in five to 10 years time of, wow, look at what I found at the thrift shop. Please tell me no, please no. Covet them, covet me. Just put me on your shelf. Never forget me and just, you know, just think about me. Just leave me there as a reminder of my existence. It's like Coco. I only exist as long as I am on your shelf and you and you remember me. And if, if that stops happening, I stop existing. It's the sequel to Coco and I'm I'm the main character. Please help me. Jadron thought he done did it. TVA intervention real. Wow, the brackets with the parentheses inside. Nested parentheses, it's crazy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I I thought I'd I thought I done did it. Um I <laughs> uh I mean didn't I wait, did I I, I don't remember. Did, it did work though, right? It just was weird and like because of the lag, my tower had had tipped. But it also did give me the it did give me the win. I don't know. That was just wonky, dude. My router was being dumb, and that whole thing was messed up. Like I was definitely higher up sometimes, and it, like didn't count the fact that I was definitely like second. And then uh, anyway, moral of the story: restart my router apparently before playing Tricky Towers. Or even more moral of the story: petition the government to um, get rid of monopolistic ISP. Uh, set up in, in the LA area because it's really harmful to competition and actually providing good service to where you can get good, reliable, functioning internet that's consistent and actually doesn't have super asymmetrical speeds where you can have one gigabit down and 30 up and they say, this is gigabit internet. And you're like, you keep using that word. I don't think you know what that word actually means. Anyway, yeah, Tricky Towers. Custom speaker tags, the Red J is a tribute to the old red headset. Wait, did you go like carbon fiber on this thing? You, okay, all right. I mean, this is cool, but I hate to tell you, I don't think we're getting carbon fiber speaker tags. Also, the speaker tag design has has been decided on. I mean, if, you, if you're on the Discord and you've looked at the, the poll, the winning one is gonna be the speaker tags. I'd love to be able to do carbon fiber. I, th I think that might be like a little bit too highbrow just for now. You know, if you had a car that had carbon fiber speaker tag options, they'd charge like a thousand dollars for the option. So, you know, I don't think we can mark up the headsets that much, but um, we will be getting the new speaker tags very soon. I don't know how it's gonna work. Like, I think we'll just be giving some away to start with. Like I'll, I'll pop them on here. I'll have them on, but I think then we'll just be doing giveaways, but maybe they'll be for sale at some point. I, I have no idea. We'll see. You know, maybe if I end up, it's Astro decides to keep sponsoring me for like 10 years, maybe 10 years from now, we can do a, you can do a carbon fiber speaker tag. I'll really try to lobby for it. I will, it'd be great. Maybe a full carbon fiber headset. That'd be even cooler. It will be seven years old this year. I still think that thing was dope. It's, I, it's one of my favorite, like, product things that uh, that I've been involved with. That, that sword was so cool, bro. Um, but anyway, also though, this is, this might be next favorite. It turned out so well, it's so cool. Like it's a legit, it's a legit thing. Like that's weird. You know, if I like showed this to myself in high school, like you're gonna have a, a like legit figure, well done. Uh, made that's after you have to be like, no way, what are you talking about? That's super awesome, but what, what do you, how did that happen? Anyway, that's awesome. So you should, you should check it out. And, you know, you should get one so we can do more. And they'll be like, yeah, we want to do more of these with you. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Trying new thingies. I present Dedith Swapte. Oh, wow. It's, this is some high, highbrow. Z Nugget animations. <laughs> God, you have to watch it like several times in order to finally figure out what's going on. But yeah, it, once you do, 
it's just like there's so many elements that has such replayability it's it's just crazy you know it's like i'm building up trying to do the jump swap so tubbo gets he gets dropped and then i get dropped into a creeper and then it's just man oh man look at this dude the resolution upgrades are dramatic look 40k res that's that's some futuristic stuff oh man my sister will be sad she doesn't watch any of jardon's gaming content <laughs> first time hold up what just happened <laughs> Oh boy, I don't have a good track record. You know, I had a great track record of making the channels and putting content on them for a bit. And then, you know, the the, the thing was though, it, it, it was at the time when the gaming was, I explained this all in the React channel video. You know what's gonna be really funny is like, now that the, now that I have put the React channel on hiatus, people are all of a sudden gonna be like, wait a minute, I'm gonna go watch it. Wait, what? I really like the, why did he stop this? These videos were great. And I'll be like, wait, so I had to stop the channel for you to start watching these videos? Is that how it is? You can go monitor the analytics for the next month and see like, oh, our views actually up now? Really? Really people decide, oh, now is the time that I'm gonna appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll we'll see. I Regardless of the, the viewership though, it was, it was much more of a just, you know, mental, uh, being able to focus on the gaming stuff that I want to focus on and also be able to enjoy my weekends and have a little bit more freedom there and feel like my sanity is somewhat, imp only a little bit important, but just somewhat important there. But what's really funny actually is I get like a report each month on the, so there's a company that like handles uh, posting like edited down stuff on my Facebook page and for the past like six months, all of the most viewed stuff every month and what they've been focusing on is the gaming content. This, I just got the report this morning for December and the top videos are React stuff. And I'm like, this is, this is, no, this is actually 100%. I'm not surprised that as soon as I, uh, <laughs> as soon as I put the React channel on hiatus, the top videos there are, and they're old. They were like from February or March, like almost a year ago. And all of a sudden they were the top videos in December and I'm like, yeah, no, that's that's how it works. It's 100%. Like I said in the video, I called the top. I called the top in gaming, and I called the bottom in React. <laughs> My timing is impeccable. A little bit of fan art as a treat. Swipe for two-year comparison. Wait. Swipe for two-year comparison? Huh? This just linked me to a Twitter. I'm so confused. How do I swipe for a two-year comparison when it's on Twitter? Anyway, this is very cool. I like it. I like the uh, incorporation of the quality content hat and the uh, jacket from the last drop. That is um, very, very cool. Very slick stuff. And um, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. Also, I do want to say, actually, going back to the post before, Jordan Games is kind of back, though. So, you know, we should have a little switcheroo here. We had we had Jordan Games kind of slipped the noose and <laughs> threw reacts into its place. All right. So it's not. Yeah, anyway. Also, uh, Marin Music is, like, you can still go listen to the music, so that's kind of cool. Like, that kind of, it still exists, right? There's music there, and it has replay factor and all that, and if I ever do release another track, I'll post it there and stuff like that. So, Marin Music, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, all right, I'm not going to just go and have excuses for a bunch of stuff. Uh, just wanted to say thank you. Sending a special thanks to the captain, given that all of the early Minecraft YouTubers I used to watch... Uh, when I was younger, you're basically one of the only ones who's managed to stay decent. You can scream, fork, and short, and whatever else you want, and that's cool. They're just way too many others have done way worse, so thank you for not doing that. I uh, no problem, I guess. I don't, I don't know. There's also a lot of people who have been around for a while and are still kicking and doing good. It's easy to focus on the negatives. So I guess I appreciate you focusing on the positives, but I don't think I'm like unique in that respect. I think there are plenty of others who are still, you know, doing just fine and haven't done bad things. But anyway, thank you. I'll do my best to continue not doing bad things. I was bored, so I checked out how much this sub's users overlap with other subs. Some wholesome surprises on the list. Hope this stays up for a while before it's inevitably removed. Let's see, we got Hermitcraft, Geometry Dash, interesting stuff. Geometry Dash. We have a 31% overlap with Geometry Dash? Are you telling me that that's the key to my success is making a Geometry Dash channel? <laughs> All right, here we go. At least I could try it on a live stream and see what happens. Um, Minecraft memes, makes sense. Jacksepticeye, suppose that makes sense. Minecraft suggestions, 
Interesting, Phoenix X SC, you guys like breaking Minecraft and stuff like that. Has been hotel, don't know what that is. Feed the beast, and uh, Huh? I feel like I've, um, I'm missing something. Because apparently 20% of you not only know that, but know it well enough to be part of the subreddit. I have no idea what it is. And the top, and the top thing is Ace. What is it? Hold on. I have to, what, what is this? Uh, let's see. Let's get a new tab here and... Oh, okay. Interesting. Huh. How did it end up with so many A's and C's? That's like, how do you remember that? I guess you find it once and then you subscribe to it. And then I guess you don't have to remember it again. Uh, fun fact, septic means infected with microorganisms. A septic tank uses bacteria for decomposition. A septic eye is affected by a disease-causing organism. Aseptic means the opposite, not infected with microorganism, i.e. sterile, hence the map's white design. Hey, welcome to a Minecraft map called Aseptic. I don't know if it has anything to do with a septic tank or jack septic eye, but we'll just have to play it to find out. My doorbell goes ding dong. We've gotten a definition. Thank you for clarifying. Um, I appreciate it. Heck yeah. Some Stardew art. Glob, I missed this. Did a lot of experimenting with this one. Oh yeah, we got more Genesator art. It looked a little more textury this time. Yeah, new style. Or new, well, kind of like the regular style mixed in with some new style, making it look like it's, I don't know, kind of watercolored or something like that. Pretty cool. Very nice. Wait, what am I running away from here? Or, oh, oh, this is the, oh, right, ah, that's the frickin' the, the party thing that I was late to and everyone was upset and we had to restart the day and, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry that I messed up, everybody. My bad. Captain, maybe you should take a bit more time to think about this. Falling Kingdom is such a great series. Funny how it came out on April 1st, though. Jardune talks about making only forks for swearing. It's coming out on April 1st. I'm I'm considering it. I still need to email my YouTube contact and see what the policy is about like mentioning that and and stuff, but I do think it'd be kind of funny, but we'll see how it all goes. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure. It's uh yeah. But then people will inevitably like post the videos of me swearing on YouTube, be like top 10 Captain Sparkle swear compilation. It'll be like a legit swear compilation. I'll be like, oh no, not that you could ever do that. You'd definitely never be able to make a Captain Sparkle's top 10 swear compilation right now. That would never exist because I've never sworn in my life before ever in a million years. It never happened. I just heard the news. When Jardune reacts, is retired. You're still free to go. You can go watch all the videos on there. There's still lots of videos and stuff like that. And, you know, so if you want to watch React Channel, go go watch uh, React Channel or something. I don't know. A lot of it. I bet you haven't watched every video. Cue the people in the comments. No, I've watched every single video on there. So uh, I'm fresh out of content. And, and I'm sorry if that's the case for you. But if you haven't, then you can check it out. God, I really am going to watch the analytics for the next month and I'm gonna just I'm gonna laugh so hard if the viewership goes up after stopping ah <sighs> gonna be the Vincent Van Gogh of react content <laughs> during during lifetime people are like ah whatever's react content afterwards they're like oh my god I can't believe he stopped I appreciate it so much more now accurate height comparison finally you twos made a life-size figurine heck yeah dude this is, this is actually, I'm using forced perspective here to make it seem like I am bigger, but in reality, I am, I am lifting up a full-sized me with my, with two fingers. Just want to say that is, that is how strong and like bone dense I am that I can lift me with just two fingers. And that's just honestly, I don't want to humble brag because it's not humble. I'm just that much of an absolute unit that He's, I can lift up something uh, my side. Like a little boss baby, like a little man. I'm being humble because I want. I make it look smaller rather than just showing that I can lift up like me with two fingers. That's all. I made some cards. Wait, did you make, you made like a, a Pokemon 
car is this a this is a pokemon card unboxing but it's like it's it's stuff related to me you got this thing like actually properly sealed in a proper card pouch what the frick this do be truly quality content what the how did what how did what the heck purple and green the best color combination to exist for in short the most heinous swear words in existence Ionite, Goddess of Balance and Queen of the End. Fallen Kingdom, The Sad Story of the King. Captain's Channels, Jordan's Attempt to Take Over YouTube. Mayanite, The Land of Gods, Mayanite, Ionite, and Ionite, Creeper, Amen. Kind of got ripped off. There were no holographics in there. Not even a first edition, dude. I'm sorry you're not going to be able to like resell those, resell any of them for super duper expensive. I wish you better luck next time. I hope you at least get a holograph. Um, but otherwise, like pretty cool, pretty cool pull, you know, you should get it. You should get it graded, though, for sure. You know, get it certified 10 out of 10 PSA in the, the super fancy case with the stuff on that. Yeah, you should you should hit them up, dude. I'm sure they'll give you at least a good good rating. Maybe deduct a point for like you threw the creeper down on the ground and also, it's touched skin cells. That's not good. But otherwise, you know, maybe six or seven on the scale. Thanks for watching this uh, subreddit video. My neck didn't hurt too much, at least. That was good. Uh, make sure to like if you liked and subscribe and uh, hit the bell. And check out the link in the description for U2s. It comes out tomorrow once again. And there's a giveaway, though. So check that out and stuff. Life size. See ya.